the toy news apparently does not stop coming because Hasbro earlier on Instagram did an IG live today, May 18th at 2 p.m. showing off some Marvel Legends products. I was absolutely passed out when I got home from work, so I missed that live stream. But they did post that uh, live stream, so you can go back and watch it later. I'll leave a link down in the description below. And they do have images, like actual promotional images of some of their stuff that they're showing off. Pretty much everything you see here, pre-orders are dropping tomorrow. So that's going to be very cool. First thing I wanted to talk about is a Target exclusive. Yeah, eye rolls, I know. I agree. However, Marvel Legends Target exclusives aren't too terrible to get. And this one hopefully will be no exception. The Bagman figure here looking really nice, uh, you know, with... Uh, Spider-Man losing his suit. This is a figure that a lot of people wanted for a long time, myself included. Uh, this figure, and another figure we'll talk about in a second, does have the torso of Reed Richards, which apparently a lot of people are not a fan of. I don't remember it being that bad, but I also haven't messed around with it in a while, so maybe I need to pull it out tonight and uh, mess around with it and see just how bad it is. If uh, who, who knows? Hopefully they've, they've done some improvements or whatnot. But it's still really cool that we're getting a Bagman figure. Very awesome. Again, target exclusive they didn't put a promotional image up i got this screen grabbed from the instagram live again tomorrow 1 p.m target exclusive they'll have promotional images so you can see how it's going to look in a better definition and more hd and whatnot moving on they have this really cool mojo world pack that they're going to be releasing this is really cool i forget if this is an exclusive or not you can go i'll leave links to the description below so you can check it out they usually say in the description if they're exclusive or not going back and editing it is a pulse exclusive uh we do have some newer characters that we haven't gotten in the marvel legends line or at least hasbro marvel legends line yet some redone characters too first of all mojo looking really nice they did show off the uh toy Biz one next to this one this one's going to be a little bit larger it's very cool we have alternate hands alternate head Lots of really nice parts going on with this. It is a very nice figure. I am assuming that this is going to be a very expensive pack with how much stuff they're putting into Mojo alone. So be prepared. Uh, but we also have Longshot. They did have a prototype in hand of Longshot. So I don't know why they didn't just... This is a pre-rendered image, I can tell. I don't know why they didn't just show off the actual figure you know but hey i still think it looks good i'm not entirely sure what parts are being reused here usually there's some reuse but there is a lot of pinless tech if there is brand new stuff here i am impressed that head sculpt also is pretty cool has some alternate hands and whatnot very very nice and we have a different dazzler this time we've had a couple dazzlers over the past couple years i have yet to get one sadly but this one is very very nice looking. I think she might have double joint elbows. I could be wrong. Uh, but the, the legs do have pins in them. So they were reusing the legs from the previous Dazzler. Um, I, I'm just not entirely sure based on this pre-rendered image. But we'll find out more most likely tomorrow. She has some effects there too. Pretty nice looking figure overall. They also included this cartoony uh, Wolverine here. That was part of the story. So this is pretty nice. It's not, I don't think it's articulated. It does need that stand that you see there that it's standing on and just to stand up. So uh, that was interesting. Uh, the way it's molded and sculpted, I, you know, I can tell it needed that. But uh, they were having trouble making it stand in the live stream when I was watching it. And then we have the packaging. This is really cool packaging that we have. Uh, it's like a TV, as you can see. And then there's packaging. Within the packaging, you have that guide, as you can see, as well as the remote. So the figures are going to be in both those boxes, too. Very, very interesting stuff. Uh, Pulse exclusive. Don't know the price yet. It's going to be 1 p.m. tomorrow when it comes to pre-orders. Moving on. Fire Lord. For our, uh, this is for the uh, Fantastic Four retro card series that they're doing um, that they've done like last year. I am not familiar with this character, unfortunately. I got some reading to do, but uh, it's very cool. We do have a reused body that we've gotten plenty of times for the Marvel Legends line. This is uh, characters like uh, Sunfire as well as the newer Spider-Man 2099, a bunch of other characters use this body here i think it's a good body it is a bit reused but he does have a really cool accessory as well really nice stuff going on here and we do have the packaging shop for it i cannot remember if this is a fan channel i think it's a fan channel exclusive 
pre-order will be dropping 1 p.m. tomorrow as well. If you're watching this, you most likely know where to go on Instagram or elsewhere online of people who are going to post when these pre-orders drop. Moving on, super cool. This is the Japanese television Spider-Man in Marvel Legends form, and I'm really digging it. I always thought we would get a Marvel Legends version. I didn't think this soon, though, to be quite honest. I'm glad we are. First of all, it also reuses the torso to Reed Richards. Uh, again, I don't entirely know the problem with that body. I need to look at it again. But we do also have pinless arms and legs. We have a good amount of new stuff for this figure here. Uh, the wrist piece looks really nice. The head sculpt is unique. It's uh, got some, I think there might be some unique parts going on. The legs could be wrong because there's some interesting sculpting going on down towards the calves with the I, I, I could be wrong that could be reused i just can't tell right now but they also have these web effects that are like instead of being a clear plastic in the show they're just like a pure white so they also made it pure white here but so that's pretty nice here's a packaging chat for it lots of nice japanese lettering on the packaging this is that what people are calling the um scalper friendly patching just because you, you can't see the figure you could easily just retake you know open it up retape it you know figure swap so i understand people's grievances with the new packaging style but the way that it looks at least with the details and design are really nice we also have hasbro working on iron man marvel legends for the uh 90s cartoon uh, type packaging and the first one they're doing uh, at least they're shown off is going to be war machine we got this one in 2020 this time though it, the biggest difference is that the open hands there i don't remember the previous one if it had open hands i don't think it did but this one is essentially the same figure. It's just instead of the silver, they have pearl white going on. The effects pieces are very much the same. They have some new blue decos and whatnot too. Here is the packaging for that. I assume we may eventually get a re-released modular armor Iron Man in this line with some different colors for this packaging. I'd love to see what else they can do with this line. I, I'm not familiar with what they released back then, so I'd have to look to see what they could do. But uh, hey more retro style packaging is welcome for the marvel legends line moving on this is going to be a quick one i'm going to talk about this is a three three quarter inch style i mean it's not actually it's not you know three inches tall but it's in that scale of the five point articulation more kenner style marvel legends figures of the sentinel here looking pretty cool um here's the packaging it has some alternate pieces and whatnot um so i i, I don't collect these I know a good amount of people who do collect them, just keep them in the box. So that's cool. They look nice. I just don't collect them, so I don't have much to say on that. But it has some pretty cool, interesting stuff going on. Last but certainly not least, this was an interesting one that they showed off. This is going to be part of the Infinity Ultron wave, Falcon and Winter Soldier, Sharon Carter. I didn't think we'd get a Sharon Marvel Legends, or at least MCU Sharon at all. Um, I'm glad we do, because I didn't think we would but it's just that uh it's just that she isn't in the mcu that much but this is cool and it's also got good potential if you want to you know kit bash and use this for other female characters uh that's that's pretty sick yeah, honestly it does look a lot like emily van camp uh for what i can see right here it does have some nice accessories too here's the packaging for that i don't know what the rest of the figures are going to be in the way if they have five i think five figures shown off two from moon knight two from hawkeye one from falcon and winter soldier i assume if they're making another one or two more it will be from miss marvel as well as she hulk we don't know yet so we're gonna find out eventually so that's pretty much it pretty good reveals a pretty good variety of different stuff that they are showing off so that's pretty sick uh, i don't know when else they're gonna reveal some more stuff i don't know when they're gonna reveal an entire wave of stuff next that's going to be interesting. Probably in the summer when it's usually supposed to be Comic-Con uh, time. I don't remember if it's com if Comic-Con is happening this year. I think it is. But they usually have a good showing of stuff for Comic-Con whenever that happens. So let me know what your favorite reveal was down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. All of the links, uh, the links in the description, those are my sources. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.